In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for the sulfur here in S2032 minus. This is the thiosulfate ion. So first, let's figure out the average oxidation number on each sulfur here. This is probably what you're expected to do in school. So as we can see, we have two minus up here. This is an ion. So all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to the charge on the ion. So everything here is going to equal minus two. That'll be the oxidation number that all of these will equal when we add it up. Oxygen, that's always going to be minus 2 with a few little exceptions. So we have minus 2 on the oxygen, each oxygen. And then sulfur, we don't know that. So we could just set an equation up. We could say 2 times x, 2x plus 3 times minus 2, minus 6 equals 2. So 2x equals, add 6 to both sides, we get a positive 4 x equals a positive 2. So the oxidation number on each sulfur here is going to be positive 2. So if we have 3 times minus 2, that's minus 6. 2 times plus 2, that's plus 4. Add them together, that equals the minus 2 that we're talking about here. Oxidation numbers, minus goes in front, charge, minus goes in back. There is one problem, however, in doing it this way. That relates to the structure of the S2O3 2 minus molecule. Let's take a look at that. So here's the structure of the thiosulfate ion. What you'll notice is that the sulfurs, they're very different. This sulfur is not bonded to any oxygens. This sulfur is bonded to these three oxygens here. So for us to say that each one has a 2 plus oxidation number, that really doesn't make a lot of sense. So there are links in the description for this video that kind of explain how you might go about figuring out the oxidation numbers for each of these sulfurs here, given that they have different chemical contexts. It's likely, however, though, that you're going to be asked to figure out the average oxidation number for each sulfur in SO2, O3, 2 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.